Y'all look at Walmart. Everything is gone. The whole store is empty. Look, this is the freezer, the frozen section. It's shelves empty. Like everything is gone. I told y'all this that this strike was about to get real. The stock up on things. Cause look, dairy, everything gone. I don't eat this stuff, but anyway, juice. Everything is empty. The whole store is completely empty. Y'all, this about to get crazy. They're almost already sold out. Everybody's panic buying right now. People are panic buying right now. All the water sold out. There's security at water at Sam's Club. Someone sitting at security or at the water at Sam's Club. Everyone's buying all the toilet paper. Everyone's buying all the tissues. Everyone's buying all the paper products. Um, everyone's buying water. Everyone's panic buying everything. I'm so The port workers are on strike. I'm at Trader Joe's and all of the eggs are bought out. And so it begins. Corporal Oceans are laughing their way to the bank because these pork strikes will be another excuse for more price gouging and more inflation. So people are panic buying. I made a video yesterday saying that if this strike happened today, then more than likely people will panic buy because it's human nature. I was hoping that people would not panic buy and buy ahead of time, but instead today everyone is in the store and the lines are out the door. Yahoo Finance have made a post saying that panic buying is spreading as well. You can look at this picture here and you'll see the line to know the port closures and everything is fake fake news it's not real so you don't need to go out spending your money buying a ton of groceries that you don't need everything's fine everyone just needs to calm down they want everyone to panic and they want everyone to go spend a lot of money and bulk up on groceries and they'll probably still raise the prices of groceries and everything to make you think that something's actually happening but I think it's just a scare tactic for them to keep control and to raise the prices for no reason. Because they know people will go out and buy a ton of groceries when they're scared. And the people that aren't scared, they're still forced to go buy groceries because everyone else that's panicking is taking everything. You didn't hear from me, but it's all fake. Don't believe everything you hear and read on the internet. Well, she sounds like she's a conspiracy theorist. What do you guys think? Are you guys freaking out and buying stuff because of the pulse strikes? Or you don't care? Everyone thinks the preppers are crazy until some shit goes down and y'all freak out. I just got off the mountain, and now it's time to go pick up some more preps. Before all you panic buyers freak out and I can't find toilet paper again. Tell me what that is. I've seen about five carts stacked to the brim of toilet paper. Coffee. Detergent. Looks like people are taking it serious. 25 pounds of sugar. Garlic. Active yeast. Pumpkin. Then my sweet morsels. Canned chicken. Bam. Spam, spam, hash browns, mac and cheese, marinara, snacks, mayo. I like to have oil on hand to cook. An extra thing of pancake mix. Bouillon, chicken bouillon, seasonings, more seasoning, almond butter. My daughter has an allergy to peanuts, so we only do almond butter, but you can do peanut butter. 
Ziploc. I'm going to hold your nose when I say this, but you do not need to stock up on toilet paper. Toilet paper is made and manufactured here in the United States. It's not coming here on a ship. Bananas are coming here on a ship. Salt is coming here on a ship. French cheese, wine, and Irish butter. And honestly, if you're really concerned about toilet paper, maybe you need to go to the doctor. It's the wine I'm worried about. Guys, here is something that I noticed. Every time there is a disruption in the supply chain, and one of the people believe that there will be some kind of nationwide shortage, the first thing they will stock up on and the first thing they will hold is toilet paper. But why toilet paper? Do y'all need to go to the bathroom that much? I mean, it's made in the US, so more than likely, it will not be affected by the port strikes. It should be the last thing to worry about, to be honest with you. Me personally, I will worry about bottled water, canned goods, medications, batteries, baby formula, or diapers for those of you who have very young children. But toilet paper, come on now. This is a friendly PSA from a Costco employee. You guys don't need to hoard paper towels and toilet paper. You don't need to stock up on it. You don't need to overbuy it. It's made in the United States. We're not going to run out. It will not be affected by the port strike. Things that will be affected by the port strike are things like alcohol, car parts, and produce that can't be grown in the United States. You don't need to hoard paper towels and toilet paper. It's going to be okay. We will have it. All stores will have it. They will continue to get deliveries in. It's going to be okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, PSA. This is not to freak you out, but I'm leaving Sam's right now. And because I find a lot of my news from TikTok, um, I'm going to let you guys know something. The if you didn't know, the ports are shut down because of the port strike, which means you're not gonna get any of your goods, which means people are panic buying right now, which means all the water sold out. There's security at water at Sam's Club. Someone sitting at security or at the water at Sam's Club. Um, right now, because it's so new, I was able to buy a few cases for my family. <clears throat> Everyone's buying all the toilet paper. Everyone's buying all the tissues. Everyone's buying all the paper products because that is what gets imported. Um, everyone's buying water. Everyone's panic buying everything. So with that, like if you guys have formula fed babies and you need water, get that down. Get what you can, but don't panic buy and make sure someone doesn't have something if that makes sense. Um, we needed all that stuff anyway, so it just kind of worked out, but every single person had toilet paper paper towels tissues and a full cart of water so i just bought tide this was made in cincinnati toilet paper i buy was made in michigan that's domestic they're not coming through ports at least 80 to 90 percent of our paper products and our laundry products and things of that nature are made domestically domestic means they were made in the united states they're not coming from overseas. Overseas affects retail more than anything. It doesn't affect your day-to-day -day products that are made in the United States. Stop emptying the shelves. It's being produced. People aren't going to work. People are not producing the product. That is not the case. We're talking about foreign stuff coming through, not domestic. Stop taking all the paper products and the laundry. It's ridiculous. Yeah, paper products might not be coming from overseas, but I've heard that the materials that they use to make those paper products come from overseas. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. So don't take my word for it. Here is something that I know for sure. Corporations are laughing their way to the bank. Why? Because these port strikes will be another excuse for more price gouging and more inflation, which is very sad because prices are already high enough.